Morning, everybody. Welcome along to Sunday. And as you can see, look, completely shaven like a baby's bum. Yes, Sarah came yesterday, my carer, and between her and Tracy, devised a plan of uh, giving me a, a shave with my shaver, then getting the wet shavers out, and this woman's shaving gel. Can you smell it? I can. I can still smell it. Anyway, that was done. They're happy. I'm not saying that I'm happy, because got a bit of razor rash here, as you can see. Well, she hasn't done it properly there. But she's a woman. What can I say? What can I say? Well, watching the telly this morning. Oh, my God. What a pile of trap rash. Or trap rash, crap rash. <laughs> Why do you pay a TV licence for the repeats and the rubbish they put on? I honestly don't know. Somebody up there in higher places should turn around and say, no, you're not going to have to pay that anymore, not with the cost of living. It should be free for everybody, regardless regardless if you can see or not. Because I think if you can see it, it's worse than what it is for a blind person. You can't see what's going on. Oh, my goodness. I ended up watching Tenable and uh, Tipping Point all day on W just to uh, alleviate the pain and the suffering. Oh, my God, it hurts. Had a nice Chinese last night. Tried some of those pancake rolls. I haven't had them for ages. They were very nice. Quite crispy, and um, they're full of those horrible bean sprout things. We can never find the right needles that we like. We like the noodle. Well, I can't remember what they're called, but... Um, they're curry noodles. I sell them in uh, Iceland. Very nice. Um, I don't know what we've got for dinner today. I think we might be steak and kidney puddings. A bit of mashed potato. How about that? Does that sound nice to everybody? Nobody cares in the house. Did you hear me? Yes. Does steak and kidney pudding sound nice? We can have them or we can have chops. Chops? Chinese chops. Oh, no, you can't have Chinese chops when you had Chinese yesterday. Mm -hmm. That won't be very nice. I am blotchy. You are blotchy. You're very blotchy. I'm very blotchy. Can you... Could be eczema. Lay it on my forehead there, look. I know. Oh, my goodness. I've never even noticed that before. We have. Huh. They notice what's wrong with me and I don't. I just know that I feel like shite half the day. If I could sleep all day, I would. Well, I do anyway. Well, I try to. It's fine balance of getting comfortable in the bed. You know, as I've told you a thousand times, and I still keep telling you, when you're on air mattress, nothing's quite as what you think it is. I mean, I wake up feeling sick. I feel like I've been on a on a uh, cruise liner all night, or well, a fishing boat, not a cruise liner. It's, uh, you speak to your nurses and you tell them how you're feeling. They should take into consideration how you're feeling and not just come out with, oh, well, it's the best one for your injury. Well, it may be the best one for my injury or the injury. But I, as you lot all know, I'm not everybody. I'm not... I'm special. I'm Gary. Ah. No. Yeah, you know. Speaking of being special, I've got a very special thank you to say to Lucy. There were very, very kind words you put on here yesterday, Lucy, and I appreciate that very much, darling. It means the whole world to me and to Tracy and Siobhan. Nice to get compliments when you've had years of uh, abuse and neglect. Especially as we haven't even met in real life yet. Which will be rectified as soon as I'm better. And when you're feeling up to it, we'll get James and Emily to cook, cook some barbecue stuff. What about that? Yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of that. That's what I'm missing. Hot weather. Being outside. And the barbecue. 
Yes. That one, that's Especially when I spent so much money on a posh barbecue a few years back. It's had a couple of uses. Well, Eric's used it a few times when he's been around here. He's a good chef when it comes to doing the old barbecue. Need to get an apron and a hat. That's what we need to get him. He's a resident barbecue cook. Barbecue cook, does that make sense? I don't know. Mm. Well, tonight I'll be a happy boy again. Be listening to the lock-in on V2 Radio. It's the virtual pub, the Down and Arms, with my friend, Mr. Steve Freegard. Um, if you haven't seen the programme or caught the programme yet, do yourself a favour and tune in. I tell you what, you won't be disappointed. He does a theme-based jukebox. Oh, yes, he does. Ho, ho, ho. A themed artist. Yep. A long song or a short song. He does loads to keep you occupied. Everyone's dedications, and I say, because there's a storyline behind it, it makes a great programme. Great on the old, well, easy listening on the ears. And I, I don't just mean he plays one type of genre. It's everybody's favourite. And it's really, really good. Anyway, I'm taking up all your time again, being a Sunday morning, sir. So you all look after yourself, yeah. Love you lots, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Bye.